Hi guys, in this video we're gonna go through the recent news and why Bitcoin is continuing to sliding. More analysis over here is coming from a lot of people from Wall Street that they priced in particular inflows or outflows. As you can see over here, even the stocks that are related to crypto coin based micro strategy are suffering. Uh, but let's go over the details. So first of all, people are saying that there is still a correction mode in the ETF simply because there are ETFs that are not approved versus the ETFs that are approved. According to them, we are still in a correction post ETF launch. They are saying that a lot of the traders who are trading with billions of dollars, short term traders and large Bitcoin holders are still doing significant selling in the context of risk of attitude. Essentially, these people are the one creating a major selling pressure on the market. Not only the people that I cover in the other video from Grayscale Trust that simply are either cashing out or shifting towards different ETF. The main scoop over here is that these short term traders are feared that, you know, the price might go lower. So if they're sitting on profits, they are going to cash out. They're going to take the profits. They're saying that additionally, unrealized profit margins have not fallen enough for sellers to be exhausted, meaning that they could continue to sell, right, and make a, a profit and cashing out on green until, until they hit a particular level, and this level hasn't been hit yet. If you scroll down, he's talking about unrealized profit of a short-term holder has fallen to about 16% this week from 48%. So just think about people were sitting prior to Bitcoin approval on around 50% unrealized profit, meaning that they're in green, but they're not selling. And what happened after the ETF approval, the current uh, sitting on green unrealized profits are only 16%, which is mind blowing. So obviously uh, this like 30 plus percent have been only waiting for the approval to cash out, which is very, very sketchy. The guy said that the first, you know, sign that you want to look into trying to identify the bottom of the market is that you want to see this number to fall below one b below zero percent. And this could simply mean uh, officially bottom in the price of Bitcoin, according to him. Furthermore, Bitcoin flows to derivative exchanges have stopped. So this is weird. He said that a trend that has previously signaled bear markets or price corrections. So again, when there is a fear, again, fear dominance versus greed, of course, they will be sitting on the sides, right? But no one expected for them to take profits. If it was like a regular sell off, if Bitcoin was consolidated at 40,000, right? Didn't jump to 49,000. If it was just consolidated 40,000 and then dropped to 39,000, they wouldn't be selling. The main selling pressure here came from the rip. It didn't came from the dip, meaning that people sold on the way up. They didn't sell on the way down. So this is what actually created this cascaded uh, sell offs and, and blow off top. It went up 49,000 plus and then all the way down to 40,000. So this is the main reason over here, guys, of course, considerable. Uh, the allocation of, of the funds and the Bitcoins from Grayscale towards other ETFs. And, you know, speculators also say that some of the people from Grayscale just simply cash out like we saw over here, unrealized profits. Considering that these people uh, enter this trust in 2017, which the prices of Bitcoin were much, much, much lower. So you understand how, how these people have been waiting seven years right to cash out for more tips and tricks like this guys subscribe and follow for more